Hello friends, in the previous video we discussed about resonance. In this video we will go to see series resonance. First let us consider this circuit. Here R, L, C elements are connected in series. Okay. The voltage across the resistor is Vr and voltage across the capacitor is Vc. Voltage across the inductor is Vl. This is the, these are the voltage across the RLC elements. Now we need to find the resonance frequency. Resonance frequency is nothing but omega r or omega c. Here omega and f r frequencies r is, r is nothing but the resonance. Okay. Resonance frequencies are indicated by omega r or omega oh, sorry f r. Okay. Before uh, now I will say how to find series resonance frequency. First let us consider the impedance impedance z. I already told you impedance is nothing but the combination of resistance and reactance. Here what is the resistance in this series RLC circuit? R is the resistance plus J into what is the reactance? Here we have two reactances. One is capacitive reactance, another one is inductive reactance. I already told you capacitive reactance is indicated by Xc and inductive reactance is indicated by Xl. And the total reactance and the total reactance can be obtained by subtracting one reactance to the another reactance. Okay, that is the difference between the two reactance is nothing but the total reactance. Resistance plus total reactance is nothing but the difference between two reactants. Xl minus Xc. Okay, this is the reactants. In my previous video also, I already told you Xl equal to omega L and Xc equal to 1 by omega C. These are the reactances of capacitors and inductors. Let us consider these are in this equation. Then Z equal to R plus Xl means omega L minus Xc is 1 by omega C. Okay. We know according to resonance, resonance conditions already discussed in our previous video, according to resonance, total reactance equal to 0 because reactance of inductor equal to reactance of capacitor in resonance. This is the reactance of uh, inductor and this is the reactance of capacitor. According to resonance, these two are equal. Whenever these two are equal, so here we have J, whenever these two are equal, then the resultant term will become 0. Okay, let us consider this term only. Omega L minus 1 by omega C equal to 0. This is the condition of resonance. Inductive reactance minus capacitor reactance equal to 0. Now, uh, simply consider in place of omega E is omega R because now we are going to find resonance frequency that is omega R L minus 1 by omega R C equal to 0. Okay. Now simply move this term to this side then we will get omega R L is equal to 1 by omega R C. Now we want we need omega R value. That's why move this omega R to this side and move this L to this side. Then we will get like this omega R square. Whenever we moving this omega R into this side, omega R into omega R equal to omega R square equal to and move this L to this side. Then 1 by LC. Uh, we need to find omega R value. That is omega R equal to 1 by root LC. This is nothing but the resonance frequency and the units are radians per seconds. Okay. This is the omega R is the resonance frequency. Omega R is equal to 1 by root LC. Suppose I want to uh, write this as in terms of frequency. Then we already know omega is equal to 2 pi F. In place of omega simply substitute 2 pi F R equal to 1 by root lc we need fr that's why move that 2 pi into this side then we will get 1 by sorry 1 by 2 pi root lc hedges hedges means frequencies this is the 
another way of representing resonance frequency in series RLC circuit. Okay friends, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.